Welcome everyone, grade 7. I'm teacher Manal Abdelhadi with you from Umariya School. We will talk about a lesson in Unit 12, Light. Our lesson is 12.4. How light bends in page 154 and 155. Our outcomes is the following. Defining refraction, drawing refracted light. As we took in the lab, refraction of light, we used a laser and a glass block. Use the laser and a glass block like this and you saw that there is two refractions, one from this boundary or from this side and the other one is from that side. So that's what we call it a boundary because it is the surface between two different mediums, air and glass. It could be between air and water also. Let's see more details about refraction of light. We have two materials, substance 1 and substance 2. It could be like air here and glass or water as substance 2. The surface in between is called the boundary. So the boundary is the surface between the substance 1 and substance 2. The light is incident in substance number 1 which, which could be air and it will be like refracted or bend in substance number two. It will not move as a straight line so it will bend as you can see. Now on the point of incident, this point we call it the point of incident, we should draw a normal line. This normal line is perpendicular or forms 90 degree with the boundary. We draw it, it's an imaginary line, we draw it actually to find or to measure the angle of incidence it is between the incident ray and the normal line and the angle of refraction which is the angle between refracted ray and normal line this is very important to know the definition of these two angles this is angle of incidence angle of refraction they are not equal what is the definition of refraction then Let's see, we can define it as the following. The bending of light when it passes from one substance into another. The bending of is a very important expression in defining refraction. So the bending of light when it passes from one substance into another. We should like to be more specific if we wrote transparent substances, it would be much better. So look at the pencil here, it looks like a broken pencil but it is not this is because of refraction of light on the boundary watch this video carefully about refraction of light concentrate on it and revise all the lesson welcome back now let's see we have rules for drawing refraction I have three rules here and three figures to explain them a ray traveling along the normal does not bend. That's the first rule. The figure on the left can explain it. Light along the normal. So the light here will incident on the normal with no incident angle. The incident angle equals zero. The refracted angle equals zero. So there is no refraction will happen to the light ray. The second rule, a ray entering a glass bends toward the normal. So the ray in the uh, figure in the middle will incident in air, refract in glass. Refract in a way it's getting towards the normal or closer to the normal. So the refracted angle will be smaller than the incident angle. Let's see the glass, the third one. So a ray traveling, uh, leaving, sorry, a ray leaving glass bends away from the normal. That's the figure on the right side glass the light will incident in glass refracted in air away from the normal 
So the incident angle in this case is smaller than the refracted angle. The refracted is larger. So we have to remember, is it from glass to air or from air to glass? At the same time, glass is as the same as water. Now on your notebook, draw a light ray enters and leaves the glass block. It will enter from air to glass and then to air again. That's the incident line or the incident ray. So let's see, give yourself four minutes to draw it, then reveal the result in the next slide. That's the solution. Your drawing should be like this, from air to glass, that's the incident ray. We should draw at the point of incident a normal line, and that's the refracted ray. It should be refracted towards the normal. And in the second boundary, that's the second boundary, the incident air, air ray in the glass, the refracted ray in air. So it will refract away from normal. Thank you. That's for everything. See you later. Take care and revise from your book, pages 154 and 155.